Let's learn about how we can create our own color sensor using an LED. An LED, or light emitting diode, is a semiconductor device that emits light when current flows through it. And a semiconductor is a material whose conductivity falls between that of a conductor and an insulator. But more importantly, it is a material whose conductivity we can control with light, heat, and or electricity. Inside an LED is a boundary that prevents current from flowing unless an appropriate voltage is applied across the diode in the correct direction. Once the voltage is applied, charge carriers can move across the boundary and energy is released in the form of photons. Here we have an LED that glows green when current passes through it. The color of the light is determined by the energy required for electrons to cross the gap of the semiconductor. The colored lenses on the LEDs actually have no bearing on the light color. They are merely to indicate what color they will emit when you have a mess of assorted LEDs. We can actually exploit the fundamental properties of semiconductors to use an LED to generate a voltage. Instead of passing current through an LED to produce photons, we will use photons to excite the LED and produce a voltage. This phenomenon is very similar to the way we can turn a motor into a generator. By applying a voltage to a motor, we turn electrical energy into mechanical energy. By turning the motor with our hand, we can produce a voltage turning mechanical energy into electrical energy. When we apply electricity to an LED, the energy is released in the form of photons. Conversely, when we apply photons to an LED, we can produce electricity. Interestingly, each LED will only respond to the same color light it emits meaning a red LED will only produce a voltage when subjected to red light. I will use this white light, which is comprised of equal parts red, green, and blue light, to generate a voltage on the green LED, which will turn on the other LED. As you can see, the LED glows rather dimly, but the signal is strong enough to be read by a microcontroller pin, like an Arduino. Using only an RGB LED, you can create a pretty neat low-cost color sensor to determine the approximate hex color code of any object. 